Well, I'm a horrible dancer, as you can now see, but it's fun sometimes nonetheless. Tonight I'm gonna ski for the first time and I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be cold again, probably 20 below and with a wind chill, maybe even colder. But I gotta get out on the skis. Last night I pulled Jacks the Viper around for a while and it was cold. I had to take a break between two laps, but the snow I thought was skiable. And I kind of created a track for myself with the Viper last night. So I'm gonna give it a shot out at West Middle School uh, in Wyzetta tonight. For about 60 minutes, we'll see how long I last. Uh, I'll wear warmer socks uh, than I did last night. But, so today I'm gonna do a short little workout. Right there, and it is short. There's a lot of stuff on there, but it's short. Most of the stuff doesn't take very much time. Uh, focus primarily on this part for right now as preparing our bodies to move is as if not more important than moving them in the belly of our workout. Because if, especially early on, I'm speaking kind of to resolutioners here, but if we get uh, too far into our exercise session without properly activating our nervous system, I just got this poster framed today, which is pretty exciting for me, to go alongside the muscular system poster I've already got on the wall. I haven't really studied this much, but I look forward to doing so. The nervous system is a prerequisite for the muscular system. We have to get the nerves firing before the muscles that we want to work will work for us. So the warm up is what we uh, have to focus on, especially early on in an exercise program. If we're deconditioned, or we're getting started into something new that we haven't done for a long time, for instance, I'm gonna be skiing tonight, and I haven't done that, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of shoulder work, uh, a lot of stability, balance work, glute, hamstring, core work to try and uh, avoid breaking a rib while skiing this evening. I have entered my name into the 2018 lottery for the Superior 100 mile trail race. I do know what I'm getting myself into and it's gonna be a lot of work and I am doing this race this year for Ellie, my middle daughter. Not for any really like uh, sentimental reason except for I wanna be an example and I want her to be, I have a voice in my training and help support it, uh, me through that. So it'll be exciting to have her at Superior this fall. She's never been there. Caden, my oldest, has been there a number of times. Hopefully my whole family can come up. That would be excellent. I'm also in the lottery for the 12.5K Spring Superior race along with my will then be 12 year old son. So that'd be a good introduction to that trail. He's been there a lot, so that'd be kind of fun. Um, Really all I had today for you right now was focus on the warm up, especially early on. Even if all you do at the beginning of a New Year's resolution, at the beginning of an exercise program, beginning of getting into something even that you're good at and proficient at but you haven't done for a long time, even if all you do is the six to eight warm up exercises during an entire workout, you're gonna get a lot out of that. Now that's a lot of times what I'll do when I'm starting up uh, something new, especially skiing where it's a little more specialized. Running, we're always walking, we're kind of always in that gait anyways, but skiing where we're skating, going side to side, the balance is important. Uh, and So that's that, be patient and show up. You're about three days into your resolution right now. It's still exciting, it's still a novel idea, you're still pumped. Stay there, I'm not saying don't, but what I am saying is over my years of experience, what I've seen is the first couple of weeks, we're pumped, we're excited, we're ready to get after it, then we get into that first tough workout and we, we shut it down. We miss one and we decide that, ah, we can't, you know, it's not my year. Don't be discouraged, be patient, show up. Perfection is the enemy of your resolution. So if you miss a day, that doesn't mean you've missed your resolution, that just means you missed the day. Come back tomorrow or whenever your next scheduled workout is, and I hate to say it, but go through the motions. Create the habit of getting to the gym, create the habit of going through your warm-up routine. Do similar or the same things at the beginning of your workout. Earlier today I sent over a uh, presentation that I had the opportunity to give at the end of 2017 at a couple companies here in the Minneapolis area. 
go ahead and read through that. Uh, the be patient and show up part, that's all it really says on the slide deck. Um, that's kind of what it means. Be patient and show up. Bridges, planks, uh, any crossbody movements are really good for the ner nervous system. Error on the side of too light. You should be able to do 30 to 40 repetitions without getting to the point where you can't do another one. Maybe do 15 to 25. One set's all you need. Get the nervous system firing before you uh, crank out some heavier stuff. Walking, elliptical, cardio is great early on to get into the habit. Do easy stuff early is what I'm saying. Be patient and show up. It really does uh, come down to that. If you do that and you get into the habit of being present at your exercise or through your exercise or for your exercise, then you'll eventually wonder what's next and you'll find it. And when you find it, you'll do it. And when you do it, you'll start to see results. So be patient and show up. That's my challenge for you. I know we're three days into 2018, but it's not time to give up on your resolutions yet. And if you do those two simple things, be patient and show up, your chances of success will go up. I just read a book recently called Finish by John Acuff. 92% of people fail on their resolutions. They give up on their resolutions. And my challenge to you would be to be an eight percenter. No matter what it is, if it's exercise, if it's business, if it's money, anything it is, be patient and show up. Uh, put your best foot forward, but be smart about the process. Trust the process and uh, be an eight percenter. Peace.